What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. As you guys can see by the title, I've been ripped off. So I bought a wideband with the sensor itself. Came with all the wires, everything. I tested out by putting the negative and the positive from this wire onto the battery. Everything lit up, everything looked good. I went ahead and I gave the guy the money. Oh, not to mention, I had to drive around 25 minutes to this location. But either way, I gave the guy the money, I brought the stuff home, I never installed it. A few weeks went by and finally I got to this point when I decided to install it. I go ahead, I start my video, I start recording in between, I'm wiring everything, getting everything ready, pulling everything out, trying to make this uh, fit into a custom little pot or whatever. And I spent all this time making this video, which I did not want to post when I was done because of the fact that the gauge did not work. But either way, I'm going to post the video. It's going to come up right now as soon as I'm done talking. And you guys are going to see all the time that I wasted installing this. But either way, yeah, if you guys don't know the people that you're buying stuff from, don't buy it. Um, like I said, I only lost $40. Not, not bad at all. It could have been way worse. But yeah, um, stay away from OfferUp and anything like that. Craigslist, Craigslist is horrible. I've had horrible experiences on Craigslist. Um, if you guys have had any experiences that have been bad on Craigslist, Go down and comment below because I love to hear those stories. Either way, um, let's go ahead and get to our video and watch me fail as I try to install a gauge that does not work. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. In today's video, we're gonna be installing this right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and install our gauge. We're gonna install our sensor right into here. And we're gonna get some readings. So with that being said, let's get the wideband and the downpipe installed. Sometimes you gotta modify tools to make stuff work in certain places. completely mounted and it's looking very nice did use some of this thread lock red on the bolts that way they don't back out and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down wipe the pipe down because there is a lot of finger marks and I know that some of that stuff might burn into the pipe itself, if it's not 
clean before the car gets turned on. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, turn it on, and let that pipe burn out a little bit. Then I'm going to turn it off and continue to install the wideband. guys so everything's looking really good the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna install this gauge but before we can install the gauge we're gonna have to see where we're gonna put the gauge so what I was thinking is um, putting the gauge somewhere around here I'm also gonna need a second gauge that's gonna go maybe on this side and I don't have a gauge pod or pillar thing that goes on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my own. I got some cardboard. I'm going to measure out exactly how I want it. Bend it exactly how I want it. And then I'm going to make it out of steel. Alright, so this is what I came up with. And I was thinking of putting this right here. Like this. Actually, like this. And then it would sit right here and it would go like that but I'm thinking that it might be a little bit too much so the other thing I'm thinking is putting this over here somewhere something like that which would kind of hide it a little bit but I don't want it to interfere with my cup holder or my shifter. So I'm still debating how I'm going to do this. Another option would be just to make something like this, like a sleeve that would go around this all the way and just bolt right here like that. I think this might be the easiest thing to do and the fastest. So I might just do this. So I like the idea of having the gauge here. Um, I'm going to go ahead, fabricate a little thing and get it mounted and also let's go ahead and install this guy right over here we'll remove this get that out of the way and now we are ready to get this one installed in there This is the little pod that I made that's holding the, the gauge in place. So that's going to have to work for now. It's on there pretty good. It's not going to go anywhere. And we are actually going to start wiring all these wires. So I got everything hooked up. Here's my green wire. I got it running through the dash that way and then it comes out it comes out through here makes its way this way comes underneath and goes right to the sensor itself and I do have the other wires uh, running to power and to the ground and we are gonna go ahead and start up the car to see if we get any readings all right so you guys get the whole idea of the video i'm gonna save me the embarrassment and just explain what happened from there on i went ahead i stuck the key and at that point i realized that there was no power i followed everything all around i tried everything you could imagine and i still did not get any power so i took the gauge apart not apart i took it off off how i had wired it and i went straight to the battery and i tried to touch positive and negative terminals nope no power at all so therefore the gauge only worked that one time when i was over there with the guy i don't know 
if something could have happened to the gauge or anything. But either way, it was a used gauge and that's what happens when you buy stuff from the street. So lesson learned, don't buy used junk. So this is pretty much gonna wrap it up. Um, if you've had any crazy stories on Craigslist or OfferUp or anything like that, go down below and leave me a message. I would love to hear some stories from you guys. Either way, I'll catch you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later. Bye, bye.